Okay, you guys, I wanna walk you through how to do a lateral band walk. Now, lateral band walks are great for building glute strength, but they attack the side part of our glute, our glute med, which is the part that we don't always tackle in typical glute moves. Um, and it's, it's often the weakest part of our glute. So it's always good to move laterally, and uh, these lateral walks are a great way to do it. So what you're gonna wanna do is to get a band, can be any, uh, thickness, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can put the band in one of three spots. You can put the band above your knee, which is where I usually go, so it would be about here, like this. This is my preferred place. Um, you can also put the band below your knee, about here, like this. That would be fine too if you like that. And you can also put the band under your feet, like this. Now, if you were gonna do this, you're gonna want a much lighter band than what I have here, but either way, you can do either one of these positions. But I prefer, just for me, I prefer above the knee. So, once you have the band above the knee, you wanna spread the feet out a little bit so now you automatically have tension on the band right away. And you never want your feet to come this close together during this move. It takes all the tension off the band. So always keep your band um, with tension, feet are a little wider, okay? So you're gonna send your hips back behind you a little bit and sit. The lower you sit, the more you're gonna feel these, okay? So if you go here, this is great. Just as long as your hips are behind you, you don't wanna be here like this. Too much stress in, stress in the knees. So send your hips back. You can even sit a little lower. Then what I want you to do, we're gonna be moving this way. We're gonna take a big step with this initial step. I mean, as big as we can, like this. Now, we're not gonna take a big step with this guy, because if we do, it's gonna to come too close. So we're gonna take a little step with this one. So we're taking a big step, and then a little step. A big step, then a little step. So you can see the band is still stretched all the time as opposed to this, all right? The other thing I want you to keep track of is trying to keep your weight centered through this as opposed to leaning like this. We don't wanna lean, all right? You wanna keep your weight completely in the center. And so I am actually lifting my foot off the ground. I'm not dragging my foot. Lifting, now I'm gonna go the other way so it's a big step and then a little step on this one. A big step, then a little step. A big step, then a little step. My hips are behind me. I can sit even lower. This becomes pretty challenging. And by the way, my glutes are burning up right now. <laughs> so add lateral band walks. I think you will really like them. You're gonna feel them right through here. And remember, you wanna keep the band stretched the whole time. So take a big step, then a little step, big step, then a little step. I usually like to do anywhere from three to four sets of these, maybe 10 to 12 reps aside. That means 10 steps that way, 10 steps coming back, okay? So add these in. If you have any questions about how to do a lateral band walk, put them below, let me know. Thanks for being here, take care.